It's a painting that once sat here at the Yellowstone Art Museum, but will now have a new home come July. The Billings Chamber of Commerce has decided to auction off the painting The Young Chief by Joseph Henry Sharp, and community members aren't happy with that decision. It was 1905 when famed painter Joseph Henry Sharp painted this scene of a serene crow settlement. This man didn't just sort of think about this painting, he was there while he painted it. Billings resident Patty Reynolds has a special connection to Sharp's paintings. Her grandfather, former Forsyth attorney Fritz Haynes, passed down two of Sharp's works to her parents, who unfortunately had to sell them in the 70s for financial reasons. So when they left the family, all of my brothers and sisters were upset over it, but we could do nothing about it. That feeling of loss is what Reynolds is hoping to save the Magic City from. To lose a painting of this significance from the state of Montana and from Billings, I just felt I had to speak up and ask the community, do we want is this what you want? The painting had been at the Yam since 1967, intermittently on display, but mostly kept out of sight. Unfortunately, for these uh, at least past four or five decades, it's primarily been in storage. The chamber has tried to sell it before, canvassing the membership in 2008. And 73% of those businesses at the time said that we should sell it again. The economic crisis of 2008 prevented that from happening, but the goal to sell has been there for decades. It's not our mission. Uh, uh, to preserve and, and to own and to curate art such as this. Um, and the discussion at the board for, again, several decades has been it would be uh, much more effective and serve our mission if the painting were to be sold and some of the revenue used to really uh, hammer home some of the issues impacting our community. The painting is set to be auctioned off in Reno, Nevada on July 15th and is estimated to be worth between $300,000 to $500,000. But Reynolds hopes dozens of community emails and calls will inspire a chamber change of heart. My grandfather would be irate. There would have been a lot more feathers ruffled by now. In Billings, Alina Howder, MTN News.